Okay, now we are actually in FileZilla, so hopefully you got it all um, downloaded, you're actually in there. Um, it does look a little bit overwhelming, but it really is nothing to worry about, and I'm going to walk you through right now. So what you're going to see, first of all, you're going to see all these boxes. You've got local site, file name, remote site, um, all of it. Ignore it at the moment, we're just going to concentrate actually connecting up to the server. So first of all, you're going to see host up here at the top. You're going to see username and password. Now, the username and the password are attributed to the same access you would for your control panel. So the username and the password you would use to access your control panel is what we're going to be placing here. So for your host, you're going to place your domain name here. But as you can see, the domain name hasn't got um, you know HTTP um, dash or www dot. It's completely blank. So at the front, we're going to put F tp dash forward slash forward slash then our domain name as so so you can see it's pr pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, nothing you know that difficult now here we have the username so I'm going to place the username for what I would do for my control panel how I would access access the control panel so let me just place in the password as well so you're just essentially getting your username and password that you would use for your control panel and simply select quick connect and you can just see there's a response happening here. You can see just tapping uh, t the the um, files. It is actually getting and connecting up to the server to our control panel with all the relevant files. And you can see it's all accessed there. So now what you're going to see, you're going to see these two windows are now populated. So in remote site we have a folder there with a plus icon, and just below we have all these various files. Um, so it does look quite confusing. Might be a little bit overwhelming, um, but I'm I'm going to walk you through this. Now what we need to do. We need to select this tab right here, like so. I'm just going to scroll down to uh, public HTML, like you can see right here. And as soon as I click that, you'll see some activity up here. You don't need to worry about that. But just in this window now, just below under file name, you can see there are subfolders and submenus and all these other bits and bobs. Um, now, out of all of these files, once you've selected public HTML, we are looking for WP, which is WordPress content. So go ahead and select WordPress content. And you can see we have plugins, themes, upgrade and uploads. Now I'm going to go ahead and select I'm going to select themes. Now here we have these are the um, original themes that we saw in WordPress. Um, and now what we need to do, we need to actually upload our frontline commissions folder. Those two folders that we had. Now if I go to the left you can see you need to locate those that file. So the frontline commissions folder containing the two themes of um, the caliber works and frontline commissions are the two folders we need. So I've got mine here, frontline commissions. If I uh, click into it, I just need to find that uh, plugin folder. Here we have the plugin folder and here we have the zip and the general folder that I had. So I've unzipped that here. So here we have two folders, Calibre FX and Frontline Commissions. Now all I should be doing at this stage is uploading both folders. Now in order to do that, I simply hover over Frontline Commissions and I right click and select Upload. And you can see just below it is actually uploading and there's queued files of 29. And I want to repeat the same process with Calibre FX. So right click, upload. And now you can see there are nearly 300 files being uploaded. But if we now look at the file name section, this area right here, you can see it's now been populated by the folder called Frontline Commissions. And here you have seen we've got Calibre FX also now being, uh, that's just literally popped up. So what's actually happened now, from my desktop, I've actually instructed um, this uh, piece of kit to actually upload. FileZilla is now uploading these uh, folders from my desktop onto the server to WordPress within uh, WordPress theme. So now I'm essentially uploading uh, the product, the package, both folders will essentially will be uh, enable us to create the theme. So all we need to do is essentially just wait until this all uploads. Okay, so now I'm just going to resume, um, otherwise we would have been here for five minutes. But what you can see now, these folders have been uploaded successfully. So you can see successful transfer of all the files, but 319 there. So now what we need to do at this point, I want to revert back to the WordPress site. And let's have a look at the 
So now I have um, the dashboard back up. I'm, all I'm simply going to do is refresh this very page. And now what we should see, we should see it populate with our new theme. So fantastic. Now what you can see, you will see there will be Caliber FX framework, which will uh, enable us to host the actual theme, the custom theme that we've got. And now at this stage, we need to go ahead and activate this theme. So if you can see the theme we need to actually activate will be Frontline Commission's theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and click activate. And you can see new theme activated. Visit the site. Uh, if you would want, you could. If you, if you would like, you could right click and open link in a new tab. And uh, let's have a quick look. And you can see it looks uh, not not too uh, tidy, should we say? So I'm just going to close this up. And now we have to essentially go ahead and let's create our page. So now we've actually uploaded our theme um, through FileZilla. Now the, in the next video we're going to be looking at actually um, creating our, our various pages and actually setting up our very own funnel.